Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about what are the most dangerous roads to ride on a motorcycle. And we can see that um, it was raining and so we're going to go out. The roads are dry but the bike is still just a little wet. We got to dry it off. get some wind to dry it off but what I want to talk about in this video is that one of my early misconceptions when I was new to riding a motorcycle was that I thought highways were dangerous to ride on and I thought I was more safe on city streets like this maybe that have divided intersection or divided medians or maybe not but I thought that I was safer if I was going slow and in more traffic. And as I rode more, I came to find that that's probably not true. So the longer I rode and the more brave I became and tried more roads, I found that highways were actually not as scary and as unsafe as I thought originally. So most people that I know who've gotten in motorcycle accidents gotten those accidents on streets more like this or on uh, not interstates but highways that are divided where you can still cross traffic between them and so here you can see right you've got people turning left you have people turning right into your lane right so people are turning into this lane from both both directions and most people I know who have gotten in motorcycle accidents are on roads more like this where people are not paying attention as much uh, they are probably speeding which contributes to this and so I've come to find that these probably are some of the more dangerous roads to be on and as I rode more I realized interstates they're divided so you don't have cross traffic right no one turning left or right and it's not necessarily dangerous to go high speed if everyone's going fast so if you really want to go higher speed it's probably safer to go faster when everyone else is going the same direction as you no one's crossing and everyone else is going faster so um you know i think it's a little bit intimidating to newer riders when they're first starting out where they think going fast is scary and they're just kind of nervous about you know going on an interstate higher speed means you know higher stakes and Really, Jeremy Clarkson summarized this perfectly when he said, speed never killed anyone. It's suddenly becoming stationary, and that's what gets you, right? And so that's exactly what's happened to everyone I know, or most of the people I know who've gotten in motorcycle accidents. They're going, you know, down a divided road, doing 70 plus miles an hour in probably 45 or 55. And some old lady crosses out goes left and they t-bone them right or something like that and so it's like well you have a great difference in speed on roads like that where you know the drivers coming out across they're going substantially slower than you and so they're just going to make you substantially slower um because when you contact them i mean you're not going to keep going fast so it's sort of an interesting mindset to get into sort of an interesting uh, perspective to gain the longer you ride motorcycles and I wouldn't suggest people who are new to riding to immediately get onto an interstate like that right um, that's 70 miles an hour but everyone's doing 80 or 85 I wouldn't suggest that when you're on a bike that doesn't have the power to do it and you don't have the confidence to do it but when I first started riding I spent a lot of time in more of like city kind of centers neighborhood roads things like that and um i just think it was a little bit unnecessary maybe some of the 
the scariness that people try to portray around going on interstates. You'll notice so many Harley riders do this and a lot of people on big touring bikes doing this on interstates where they just park in the left lane basically. They're doing, you know, 10 over the speed limit on an interstate and they're just staying in the left lane even regardless of how faster people are coming up behind them in the United States. And that's because they're just like, man, I'll just keep cruising. I don't want to deal with merging traffic or any of that stuff. And so, you know, it's safe. You have usually a concrete barrier between you and the oncoming lane of cars to protect you. And so it makes a lot of sense, actually, that those rates are, those, those interstates are not nearly as uh, dangerous as some of the others. Plus, since you have that barrier between you and the oncoming traffic, I mean, like an, a tire can come off of a car or like an 18 wheeler, I've seen this before, and it doesn't come across the barrier, right? Because you've got a barrier there. And so on other roads, you might not have that. Plus, since they're higher speed roads, they tend to be better maintained. And I find to find, I, I come to find that a lot of wildlife, like deer and stuff that are hit on them, tend to get cleaned up faster, moved aside, and on back roads, people just leave them there. And, you know, it's it's kind of crazy out on back roads. You can have a lot of fun on twisties, but you sure can come across very unexpected stuff all of a sudden. Like yesterday, I was on a back road, and it was hilly, right, and twisty, and just having a lot of fun, and all of a sudden, there's a little sign and two cop cars and you know two top two cop cars with their lights on on the side of the road a sign in the road that says death in the family funeral in progress like please slow down but it was right there i mean there was no warning and so some of these back roads you gotta watch out for the gravel the the wildlife all this stuff so gonna go but lots of divide roads like this where I've got people turning I've got red lights I've got all this stuff these are the kind of roads where people I know are getting injured and they're probably taking it for granted thinking oh I can do 90 miles an hour down here but then you got little old lady who hasn't paid her taxes on her car, registered it ever, let her insurance lapse, decides to pull and take a left at two miles an hour, and uh, they hit her. So, all of that to say, if you're nervous about going on the interstate because you think it's the most dangerous, I would think about it and make the argument to you all that it's actually a pretty... Um, it's, it's no more dangerous than any other roads, is what I would really say. So I'm curious what people told you all uh, when you were new to riding. Were you told to avoid interstates? Did you think they were dangerous? What kind of roads were you most comfortable on when you started riding? Let me know below in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.